everyone. So today we're going to be talking about object shadows. And this is going to specifically pertain to outdoor lighting or harsh indoor lighting. So as you can see, I have shadows on this rock and this tree. And I wanted to show you guys how to achieve that because what I'm seeing a lot in screenshots posted on forums is shadows that look like this. So they use the gradient tool and they align it with the object, but it just looks really non-organic. So this is kind of like my cheat for you guys um, as to how I shadow my objects. So I'm going to hide this and I'm going to hide the tree ones and I'm going to show you how I do it. So I'm going to do a tree because it's like kind of complex and this is like a warped tree. So I'm going to copy this first. Sweet. I'm going to V that over into our document and I'm going to control shift N and create a clipping mask. And this is like really easy. So this tutorial should be really short. That's wrong. I'm going to press D for default colors and do black. And I should have changed the flow to a hundred, but I mean, no way. Okay. So I'm just going to merge those layers with control E and then I have my shadow. Amazing, right? So what I'm going to do next is control T and my global light source is an angle of 140. So that means that my light is coming from the top left. It's shining this way. Um, everything shadow wise has an angle of 140. So it just keeps it simple for me. Um, but obviously if your light is coming from the top right, you would do the opposite of what I'm doing. You just want your shadows to go with your light source, if that makes sense. Cool. Now that looks really pixely. It's not very soft. So I'm going to blur it a little bit. So I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm probably going to do two, three. It doesn't really matter. I'll do three. Um, and then what's next? <laughs> and then I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit so I can kind of see maybe to 80. And I'm just going to use a small brush with a low flow and start to like shade it in here to kind of like make it travel up a little bit more naturally. And as you can see, my flow is still low. I always keep my flow pretty low when I'm um, painting shadows on and stuff like that because it makes it look a little bit more natural once again. And then I'm going to smudge the edges right here just a little bit. Sweet. So there you have it. Let's see if this looks good. Yeah, I'd say so. So that looks fine and dandy. Um, let's do one more for a good measure. So let's do a large stone. So same thing, I'm gonna copy and paste that. I'm gonna bring it over, blam. I'm gonna control shift N to create a new layer. I'm gonna use a clipping mask so that when I paint the black, it only affects the stone. And then I'm just gonna color this in, merge my clipping mask with my rock layer. I'm gonna control T to transform. I'm gonna put the layer at 140 once again. I'm gonna press enter to um, submit. <laughs> I'm gonna to go to Gaussian blur and I'm gonna just do the same thing. Three looks fine. And this one is a little bit uglier for sure. So line it up as best you can. Decrease the opacity once again, let's do like 80. And then just make sure that you're painting the edges to kind of like line it up. Cause obviously um, you're gonna have shadow like on the front of the object where the sun isn't hitting it. And then just clean up the edges a little bit once again. And then if we lower the opacity on this, what do we get? Yeah, it looks pretty organic. Now I think um, my shadows are a little bit closer. I think, let's see. Yeah, my shadows are definitely closer, you can see. Um, but you can play around to get it to the point that you want. So obviously if you're like, oh, that looks really far, it looks kind of weird, you can just select it and move it up a couple pixels and then just do the same thing. So obviously clean up the edges where your color travels out. And then there you go. 
Okay, and that's how you create object shadows for outdoor lighting. So obviously the scene is a desert. It's supposed to be very, very sunny. Um, my shadows are in turn gonna be a little bit harsher because my light source is a lot more vivid. So keep that in mind when you're using this tutorial. I'll probably make a separate one for indoor shadows because that's a little bit different. Um, but yeah, if you have any further questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.